I think of the modes as essentially different personalities of a given collection of notes. By the way, a collection of notes can be called a scale when you're talking about the notes in the scale, or it can be called a key if you're referring to a piece of music written using that scale. We saw earlier that in the major scale there are two major seven chords, three minor seven chords, a dominant seven chord, and a half diminished chord. We also saw that a seven chord is made up of the one, three, five, and seven notes of a given scale. So that means where there's a chord, there's a scale. Modes describe the scale that the chord is part of. For example, in the key of C, D is the start of the D minor 7 chord. But there's also a D minor 7 scale, built from the same notes as the C scale, since D minor 7 is part of the C scale. Here are the modes of a major scale. If you start on the one note, you're playing in Ionian mode. If you start on the two note, it's the Dorian mode. Starting on the three note gives the Phrygian mode. On the four note, the mode is Lydian, and on the five note, it's Mixolydian. Starting on the six note, you get Aeolian, and starting on the seven note, you get Locrian. Let's look at each of the notes to see what it's given up when it's part of the C scale. When it's the one note of its own scale, D has two sharps. But in the key of C, it's using the notes from the C scale, and so has no sharps. D, without its two sharps, is called D Dorian, the first minor mode. E, the three note, normally would have four sharps in its scale. But in the C scale, it's given up those sharps. E, without its four sharps, is called E Phrygian, the second of the three minor modes. F, the four note, normally would have one flat in its scale, but in the C scale, it gives up its flat. F without its flat is called F Lydian, the second of the two major modes. G, the fifth note, normally has one sharp, but in the C scale, its sharp is gone. G in this position is called G Mixolydian, the dominant seventh scale. A, the sixth note, normally has three sharps, but in this position the three sharps are gone. This mode is called Aeolian and is the third of the three minor modes. And B, the seventh note, normally has five sharps, but giving up those sharps when it's in the C scale puts it in the half-diminished mode called Locrian. So there you have it. Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. No matter what key you're in, no matter what scale of notes you're using, the Ionian and Lydian modes are major modes. The Dorian, Phrygian, and Aeolian modes are minor modes. The Mixolydian is a dominant seven mode, and the Locrian is a half-diminished mode. Now we can see what it looks like on the circle. As we've seen, this is how the C scale looks on the circle. On one side is F, in Lydian mode. When it's in Ionian mode, F's one flat is B flat, which is outside of the scale. So the F Lydian scale includes natural B instead of B flat. On the other side is G, in Mixolydian mode. When it's in Ionian mode, G's one sharp is F sharp, outside the C scale. So G Mixolydian includes a natural F instead of F sharp. Next to G is D, in Dorian mode. D's two sharps are F-sharp and C-sharp, both outside of the C scale. So D Dorian includes the natural F and C, instead of sharp F and C. Next is A, in Aeolian mode. The three sharp notes in the A scale are replaced by the three natural notes in the C scale. Then E, in Phrygian mode. The four sharp notes in the E scale are replaced by the four natural notes in the C scale. And lastly is B, in Locrian mode. Its five sharp notes have all been replaced with natural notes. Now let's look at it from the perspective of the note C. C in this spot is the one note, Ionian mode. If we want the C to be in Lydian mode, we simply shift the grouping. Now we can see that when C is in Lydian mode, we're in the key of G, now in Ionian mode. C is now part of the tritone C, F-sharp, 
as part of the G scale. If we want C to be in Mixolydian mode, we shift the grouping the other way. Now C is in Mixolydian, and we're in the key of F, now in Ionian mode. In this scale, we can see B-flat is in Lydian mode. Our D minor 7 chord is now part of the D Aeolian scale. G is Dorian, A is Phrygian, and E is Locrian. If we want C to be in Dorian mode, we shift the grouping again. Another shift puts C in Aeolian mode, another shift puts it in Phrygian mode, and the last shift puts it in Locrian mode. Each time we shift the grouping, we're in a new key, and all of the notes in the key are in new modes. Now we can see why C is the start of a minor chord when we're in one of the keys in the 9 o'clock quadrant. <laughs>